Okay. So remember I did some live streams today and I said that I had salt under um, watch because I felt like she could have babies in the next 24 hours. Her due date isn't until Sunday, which is, you know, three days from now or whatever, but we're going to watch her. Well, she just had twins. You are so handsome. You're still wet. You're just a fresh baby. Fresh baby. You did so good. You are such a good mama. Yes. Good mama. Good mama. The mama. The mama. The mama. Oh my goodness. Okay. New goat babies. It's burning hot. It's awful. But we love it. Welcome to the homestead. So this Rocky Balboa MMA fighting championship towel around my neck is not going to work because it's hotter. But this is what I had. I had an extra towel up here. One for the babies and then one for just good luck and I'm using it. So welcome back to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome to the channel. Oh my goodness. I want to get this video up and recorded because I don't know how the next 24 hours are going to go. I have new goat babies. We'll get into that in just a second. But depending upon how they nurse mama, and if they can, um, is going to determine their success uh, as uh, in terms of their health. And also, hopefully, it's going to work out so that I don't have to bottle feed them. So I did some live streams earlier. Let me give you a little background. I did some live streams earlier today and I ended up taking them down because they were being interfered, they were being messed with. In whatever realm or terms you wanna apply to that, you just go right ahead, dearie, it's okay with me. Long story short, if you watch the live stream, and I did, I did come back and do one a little while ago just to kind of catch you all up because I took down the first two original ones and that several of you were already asking, like, where'd it go? Where'd it go? It was me that did that. I took them down. I wasn't demonetized or warned or anything like that that I know of. Uh, but they weren't making sense. And I want my content to make a little bit of sense. <laughs> so anyway, here's the deal. So let's start from scratch here real quick. But I came, so I ended the live streams. I went inside, thought about it, prayed about it. And I went, I'm going to start all the way over. I finished dinner. I ate first so I could get up here and get my chores done, blah, blah, blah. And my goat, who had my beautiful Miss Salt, I stopped hand milking her two months ago because I knew she had been bred. She is a wonderful goat. She is a wonderful uh, goat to milk. She wants so bad to be a mama. She loves her babies. At least she loved the last ones. But the problem is, is if you've seen me milk her, her, her teats are huge. Her last set of twins couldn't latch, okay? Um, these are trying, and so I'm working with them. So they are already born. Uh, I walked up here and I got out of the car, and I thought, am I hearing something? Their, her due date is August the 4th. What's well, July 31st? And I said on my live stream, I said, she looks like she could have these babies in the next 24 hours. It, it's just, they just get so huge and so engorged right before birth that if you do it enough times in terms of being around goats or even cows for that matter, you know, you're like, okay, okay. I knew you were getting close, but we're on a countdown now. And as James said, he said, man, you nailed that one. So the goal was to do all these things, come up here, have her new stall set up, new fresh straw. James brought home fresh straw today. Um, et cetera, et cetera. And lo and behold, she'd already had the babies. She's got a buckling and a doling. And um, all the, of the herd was surrounding and standing outside of the kennel. But, you know, we've made stalls with kennels, large kennels. And Enoli was guarding the door. The door was wide open. So anybody could go in there. She did on her own and had the babies. She has passed the afterbirth. And I just successfully latched the babies to her. I kind of squirted some of the colostrum in their mouth and they started nursing. 
So I'm gonna have to come up here. If you have goat babies, as I've told you this before, if you have goat babies or calves too, you have to make sure those babies are getting the colostrum the first 24 hours. It's really, it's life or death, y'all. So I wanna go ahead and film this now, talk to you about this now, and I apologize for the humidity. It's not apologizing to me, but I may be up here half the night and tomorrow may be really busy. So I wanna go ahead and get this message out. It's been a very emotional day. If you caught the live streams, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it, it's a very emotional time for a lot of people. We are getting literally slammed with something moment to moment, and it's been crazy. Guys, it's gonna get crazier. This is actually the message that I wanted to put out in a video that I started today, and this is what I wanna say to you. You really don't have 100 days in terms of trying your best to be as prepared for anything as possible. When we say 100 days, that's gonna put us, actually it's less than that now, inside the time frame of what you know and what I know is coming, we think is coming in November. Whether you believe in the election selection or not, whether you are going to vote or not, let me tell you what, whatever is going to happen, we're all going to experience it. It's not gonna matter if you're a doctor, it's not gonna matter if you're a homesteader, it's not gonna matter, it doesn't matter. It, we're all going through this, okay? And what we are witnessing right now is the revealing, you know, I made a video the other day talking about the thinning of the veil. Ah, it's just being ripped off. It's being ripped off. You just have to be in tune enough to go, am I really seeing all that I'm seeing? Yeah, you're really seeing it. Because God's revealing it. God's allowing it to be revealed. And folks, there is no way that you or I can exactly predict how the next 97 days or whatever are going to go. But I think that you're going to agree that we all feel something in our bones. I mean, do you not? You don't know what and you don't know when. Now, at a minimum, I agree with a lot of you that are saying it's not, things may not occur until right at the election after. I hope that's true. Actually, I hope it's not true. What I hope and pray for is that we peacefully and successfully have an election and the people are represented without any interference. That's my hope and prayer, okay? Okay? But we have to stay real here, folks. And you know as well as I do, think about what the last two to three weeks have been like and then think about how, how does that translate into what's going forward. Here's what I'm trying to tell you. You don't have 100 days. Every moment of every day right now is going to be critically important for me and for you and for anyone that can hear this video and understand the words that we are trying to communicate. We have got to be in constant prayer. We have got to be in constant thought. We have to have no distractions. A lot of the things that you are seeing, while they are evil in their context, they are also a bunch of shenanigans to try to distract you. Okay? Okay? Your preparations, and that is going to, from a spiritual sense, uh, a physical sense in terms of you being physically active as much as possible, getting good rest when you can, eating right. That's how you're going to be able to manage your stress and any obstacles coming your way. The better the healthier is, it's true, you're going to handle stress better. It doesn't mean it's not going to be stressful. But I want you tonight, here's what I'm saying, and I'm going to try my best to get this up before I go to bed. I want you to try your very, very best to very, very quickly. I, I don't want to hear. I'm sorry to say this. I'm going to sound like your mama. Let me do it. I don't want to hear I'm as prepared as I can be. I bet you're not. I'm serious. There is probably something you have missed. There is probably something you didn't think about. There is probably something that you've put off. There is probably something that maybe you couldn't afford, but maybe now you can. I don't know, but please be very proactive in going over everything that you possibly can in terms of your pantry, okay? If you haven't been, you know, really doing a lot with your garden this year, don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. Do the best you can. Just take that burden away from you and go and get the items that you need. Get canned foods, get your pet needs, get your medical needs. If you need to make an appointment, then do so. If you need to work on self-defense, and that comes in several, that has uh, several meanings to it. Please be doing that, folks. Please be doing it. Again, you are less than 100 days 
to November. A lot can happen, and you know this between now and then. And I think it's very likely we're gonna see a lot of things. What are those things? How, what, how they're gonna manifest? What they're going to do? I don't know. But the more prepared that you are, make sure that you have your Bibles. I have more Bibles to send out, and I wanna also say this, I wanna make sure it's clear. Please go to Tucker Carlson's YouTube channel, and please be listening to the interview with John Rich from two weeks ago. I've been saying this to all day today. It is worth every bit of your time to listen to. Okay, I'm just gonna say that one more time. So listen, here's the bottom line. Your past time to be busy. Don't stress about that. If you feel like you're behind, welcome to everyone else. We do too. There's an interruption for you right there. Good morning, guys. So listen, it's the next morning. And when I was filming this video last night, it was between 8.30 and 9 o'clock, I think. And literally two things were happening. As I was talking and I filmed it, a thunderstorm with lightning was moving in. So I was trying to, you know, start closing it out. Well, as soon as I got to the point where I was trying to close it out, my phone said that my storage was too full, which... I thought was peculiar because I had cleared my phone this week, but we'll just leave it at that. So I stood there for a minute, came back up closer to the vehicle and um, cleared it, del deleted the videos or vi any, uh, you know, it's, uh, miscellaneous stuff you have, or if I've got a video that I've already filmed this week and I haven't, you know, I've, I've transferred it and you've seen it, but it's still sitting on my phone or whatever. So the funny thing is, is I went through the process and I'm like, okay, I've I, real quickly, I was like, I've done that, done that, done that. Okay, crazy delete, 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 then go, goes and I go into the second file where you have to permanently delete it. Cause until you do that, the, the, the content is still actually still on your phone taking space. So I do that, turn off my phone for like 30 seconds, turn it back on. That's a tip. That's it's worked every time. Wasn't working. So I had to go back to, I just got so frustrated and it started lightning so much that I went back to the house and so much is going on with the farm right now. So I just decided to pause. So if you see this right here, we're just gonna close it out right now. I know this is weird. I don't know if I've ever done this before, but I'm not gonna refilm the whole thing simply because the point was made that look at everything that's going on. You guys know this as well as I do. Um, and you don't have a hundred days. I'm sorry. I mean, you we in, in theory, in hopes, yes, I hope we do. But here's what I'm trying to say uh, on this very tired, very hot Thursday morning is please make sure you're going over your preparations, okay? You're being distracted. The world's being distracted. Things are happening so fast. And I don't want you to get distracted and turned away from the things that you need to take care of, okay? So make sure today's August the 1st. So we've transitioned from July into August now. And everybody already has fall fever, although we're under a massive heat advisory today. I mean, it's going to be hot still for a long time. But think about that. You're, you are pushing into a very, very turbulent season, and you're already in one. So I'm just wanting to suggest to you, don't think something can't happen today. Don't think that something is can or cannot happen prior to November, Okay. And I just know that the more that you prepare and the more that you go over your items and do the things that you need to do in a quick order, the better you are going to be and the better you're going to feel, okay? You're the pillar of your community, okay? You wouldn't be here us talking about this all the time if you, whether you have completely accepted that role or not, I don't know, but I'm telling you how important you are and how much of a difference you're making for your family and your community, even though they may not tell you or in, in, they may not appreciate it yet. So that's my goal right now is to remind you of where we are, to remind myself of where we are because things can happen like that. And I think we've entered into a season of com complacency. I think people are tuning things out uh, or have been because it's just too much, it's just too much. And when they do that, even when I have the temptation to do that, um, you tend to not do the things you need to do. And that doesn't mean that you don't have good times. It doesn't mean you don't go on a date with your husband. It doesn't mean you don't go get ice cream. It doesn't, I'm not saying any of that, but I am saying make sure you've gone over your preps because you, you're into the season now where all the things that you've been working for count the most. And, in, and it also 
on, in addition to that, it never stops. This role that you have been chosen for, in my opinion, by the Lord, <clears throat> is probably one of the most important roles you'll ever have. And take it very serious. Take it seriously. All right, guys. I know this is a wonky video, <clears throat> but I'm not going to let up on the content. Uh, yesterday, I took down two of my live streams because we were interrupted so much. Um, and I do want to say that um, a lot of people are being throttled right now. So be looking for the people that you trust and you want to, you know, have community with online, the ones, that, the content creators that you follow. You may have to seek them out. This group's probably going to have to seek them out because <clears throat> we're definitely not being put in front of you like we once were uh, and as we fairly should. Chew on that fat too. I love you. I hope you're doing well. Stay busy. You're in the month of August. Make this month count. Something may happen tomorrow. You just never know. But what you do today will make a difference for tomorrow. Like, subscribe, and share. God speed. God bless. Guys, be praying and prepping like crazy out there. And be peaceful. Definitely don't get distracted. But remember the things we must be focusing on. I'll see you in the next video.